Dear Peter, My heart fell at the sight of the cover. Impression, a schoolgirl's book. A chocolate green or green chocolate of the pig in the kitchen. My pro stands against everything the cover says. Surely Yate, Joyce and Beckett gave Irish letters some universal dignity. I might let it pass if I thought it would find its reader. My experience is that people likely to buy the book are people who enjoy the language. A cover like that is the same as selling cheese under a sugar label. Macmillan published The Barrack with an Irish cover. It got sensitive Irish reviews. It sold 750 copies. Knopf published The Dark in typographical cover. It got wide reviews as literature. It sold 3,500 copies. And with a little luck, could have done much better. Irish except Joyce Beckett wasn't mentioned in the reviews. That hankering after the little homestead is played out. Grove have no need of it. The cover is lazy, unimaginative, and it stereotypes since whoever designed it thought it a cliche. A long dead one at that. Why can't it just get decent type red and black if nothing can be better thought of? The only justification of a picture is that it's a good picture, a painting or a print. That cover is debt to the book. Gregory wouldn't have let it through. I don't want to hear the viciousness in his laughter when he sees it. And you as a poet, as well as a publisher, must be able to see it's a disaster. That kind of Irish cover has been literally played to death and is as dead as the literature it symbolises. Lovely mists that do be rising on the bog, top of the morning. I'll be back at one Rue Christine on the 1st of October. Can you write to me? Forgive any mistakes, I am disturbed, John.